Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by uh, Luca Pagani, who's a uh, senior researcher at the Estonian Biocenter. Uh, thank you very much for your time. How exactly was all this data discovered then, and has it come as a big surprise? Uh, yeah, this was, this was actually some unexpected uh, finding because, I mean, we saw that all the Eurasians and Papuans vastly come from the same migration out of Africa that took place after 75,000 years ago, but we saw that there, were, there was something unusual in the genome of Papuans, and these are like bits of DNA that we can trace to date back to at least 120,000 years ago, and they must have diverged from the main African lineage about that time. So how does, how does this alter our, our thinking about the origins of, of the human race? It, it, it doesn't uh, change too much the overall picture of um, you know, major expansion 75,000 years ago as the primary source of all human outside of Africa, but it actually adds some details and shows us that actually more than one migration took place. And actually, you know, who knows, maybe there were even others that are yet to be discovered, as archaeological findings might point to. So what are some of those competing theories then about the origins of, of modern day humans? Well, I mean, uh, so far, um, the, the general consensus was that there was a single major migration that explained the whole uh, presence of all humans outside of Africa. But now, you know, we are pointing to, to the fact that actually maybe others now extinct migrations might actually have contributed and this actually makes the, his, the evolutionary history of our species even more interesting, even more you know, variegated. And actually, there is, it shows us that maybe there is much more to be discovered out there. Can you just talk us through the science behind it? When these genomes in, in Papua New Guinea were, were being looked at, what were scientists looking for? What did you expect to find? Um, it's interesting because the study we carried out was aimed actually just at describing the genetic diversity outside of Africa. So we didn't have any particular expectation. We were actually expecting to find all of these individuals to all belong to the same out of Africa. So this was kind of an incidental finding in a way. And we saw that there was, you know, some interesting genetic signature in Papuans. We developed some uh, new methods to actually being able to identify these kind of fragments. And we realized that actually, yes, so modern Papuans can actually be said to be, you know, partly deriving from a now extinct out of Africa migration. So this was uh, um, interesting spin to a study that was designed to actually investigate just the general diversity outside of Africa. So what happens then with this new data? What happens now? Uh, well, I mean, we don't know yet. I mean, the data is actually available out there. Actually, anybody can go and, and download it from our uh, the Estonian Biocenter uh, website. And, well, now one interesting question would be whether there are any other population out there who share this same signature as of Papuans. Uh, particularly the Kosipa and Koinambe populations. And another interesting question is whether maybe inside Africa now we can find the closer descendant of the people who actually perform the migration out of Africa. Okay, uh, Luca Pagani, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Bye.